Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the uh, ASRock X570 Creator. The Creator series is ASRock's latest lineup of motherboards designed for high-end enthusiasts and uh, content creators like me. This motherboard features the latest AMD X5 Center chipset and supports all of the AMD Ryzen processors, both the third gen and second generation. It comes absolutely packed with a load of great features, including a 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN. That's right, a 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN from Aquentia, as well as your standard 1 gigabit Ethernet LAN from Intel, and it includes a Wi Fi 6 standard. It also supports memory speeds of up to DDR4 4666 MHz and of course uh, multi-GPU configuration both the AMD Crossfire as well as NVIDIA SLI. Other features include the uh, Purity Sound 4 as well as uh, USB 3.2 uh, Gen 2 both the A-Type and the C-Type and of course Thunderbolt 3. For stability it comes with 14-phase power as well as Dr. Moss and of course heat sinks with heat pipes as well as the active fan to cool the chipset. This motherboard features the latest PCIe 4 standard and comes with the dual Hyper M.2 slots for your SSD as well as the steel slot uh, 16 times PCIe for your uh, graphics card. Just looking at the features, this motherboard uh, is perfect for any content creators and uh, I love to see how it performs when we put this into our test rig. So without further ado, let's uh, do a quick unboxing, uh, build a test rig and uh, we'll see you later. All right, so we have the uh, X570 Creator from ASRock. Let's do a quick unboxing. All right, so this is the box. And uh, put some sign and uh, let's see what's in here. Okay, we've got uh, some memory um, installation guide there. We also have the X570 Creator manual, very nice stick manual. And uh, we also have the driver disk, and there's the software setup guide. And there's a ton of features, including the um, accessories. Uh, this is the uh, Wi Fi 6 antenna. There's also two packs uh, of the SATA cables. Uh, there's a couple of M.2 uh, screws for your SSDs. And this is the SLI bridge, I believe, yeah, it's for uh, NVIDIA graphics cards. It's the uh, IO shield. And this is the internal uh, display port cable. Yes, I'll show you where this connects onto the motherboard. And uh, here we go, it's the uh, motherboard itself. Let me just get this off. All right, so here we have the uh, ASRock X570 Creator motherboard. It's got a very nice gray uh, gunmetal and matte design and a very nice uh, solid motherboard with uh, nice heat sinks at the top here with the heat pipe as well as uh, the armor shield and also the active fan for cooling the chipset. All right, so we'll start with uh, the uh, connectors right here. This is the uh, DDR4 DIMM slots, and these support uh, DDR4 4666 MHz memory. There's your AM4 socket for your Ryzen processors, supporting both the uh, uh, third generation and second generation processors. Here we have a very nice uh, silver and gunmetal color heat shield and heat sink with the heat pipe here. There you have your 8-pin uh, and 4-pin uh, ATX power for your um, motherboard and processor there, right there. Okay, so let's move on to here. There's your usual standard uh, ATX 24-pin uh, power. And uh, there's a total of eight uh, SATA ports for your storage. I love these. These are the uh, clear CMOS and reset and power on buttons. 
with the uh, diagnostic LEDs. And uh, here moving on you have your usual uh, USB 3 connectors uh, supporting both the uh, 3.2 and uh, Gen 1 A type and uh, the B type and C type sorry. And then you have your addressable LEDs and uh, polychrome RGB connectors, the RGB headers right there. All right, moving on here, we have uh, three 16 times PCI slot. Okay, and also you have uh, three of the uh, four times slot there, supporting both the uh, PCIe uh, 4. Okay, that's the new stand there and uh, these are known as the, as the Hyper M.2 slot so underneath here you will have the uh, Hyper M.2 supporting uh, for your M.2 SSDs and this is then cooled by a chipset fan, active fan right there. So earlier I showed you the uh, display port uh, cable and this one connects up to the internal uh, this motherboard has an internal display port um, so for people like who wants to capture uh, video, uh, great for content creators and streamers and so on. Let's have a look at the I.O. Alright, so we start from the left here. We have the uh, flash back BIOS right here. And then you have the uh, uh, antenna uh, connectors for your Wi-Fi 6. PS2 keyboard and mouse, USB 3.1. There's the HDMI port as well as display port and the USB 3.2 Gen 2 as the uh, the A type and the uh, USB C is also the uh, Thunderbolt as well. So Thunderbolt connectors here USB C. There's your Aquentia 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN as well as your Intel uh, 1 gigabit. And then of course you have an array of audio connectors. So yeah, very nice motherboard. Um, it looks very nice, uh, very solid, and it's one of the higher end uh, motherboards. As, uh, from ASRock, uh, the Creator series. In fact, um, yeah, I think uh, I'll be using this for uh, our next build. Uh, great for video editing, content creator, streaming, whatever, and of course gaming as well. Great, so let's put this into our test rig and see how it performs. The ASRock X570 Creator is quite a unique motherboard and is designed for the content creator and high enthusiast user. So how unique is it? Well, it's the first affordable consumer grade AM4 motherboard that features a 10 gigabit LAN. Most of the AM4 motherboards I've tested so far only features a 2.5 gigabit LAN. This means if you're lucky enough to own a 10 gig router, the transfer rate between your computer and any NAS storage device would be pretty awesome. It's ideal for any content creator that requires a fast network when handling large video files, especially uh, raw files. Another interesting point to make is the fact that the uh, BIOS settings is optimized so that the processor runs at a minimum boost speed of 4.3 GHz during full load. This means I don't have to worry too much about uh, tweaking the BIOS to get the best performance out of my system. Do not benchmarks, we got some very impressive scores including a Cinebench score of uh, 2087 and a PC Mark 10 score of uh, 7164. For Port Royal, we got a score of 6499 and a DLSS score of uh, 44.05 frames per second. For 3D Mark Time Spy and Fire Strike, we got a score of uh, 11,037 and uh, 22,630 respectively. One feature that's lacking with the X570 Creator are the onboard RGB LEDs. There's none whatsoever. I guess if you're a content creator, it's the kind of feature you don't really need. However, it does come with RGB headers and uh, it's compatible with the Polychrome RGB. You also get a ton of features, including the support for AMD Crossfire and NVIDIA NVLink support. Uh, supports memory up to DDR4 4666MHz and uh, there's the usual Quantia 10 gigabit LAN, Wi-Fi 6, Thunderbolt 3, uh, PCIe 4 support and of course the uh, Hyper M.2 slots for your SSD. You can check out the complete feature list on our website at uh, funkit.com. 
So here's our final thoughts. I'm not sure why ASRock hasn't already named their X570 creator as their flagship motherboard. They really should. This motherboard is, in my opinion, the benchmark by which all X570 motherboards should be measured. It offers excellent performance with a rich feature list that's just unbelievably attractive. If you're a content creator or a high-end power user, then you really have to check out the ASRock X570 creator. And there you have it, this is the ASRock X570 creator. Suitable for all of the AMD Ryzen 3rd gen and 2nd generation processors. It offers great performance and comes absolutely packed with some great features and it's ideal for content creators and high end enthusiast users like me. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel and also visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Until next time, this is Winston for Forkit.com.